Automatic Traffic Lights Control Traffic lights are used to control the vehicular traffic. In the modern era, everyone has his own vehicle, resulting in rise to the numbers of vehicles. That's why traffic lights are mandatory. To avoid the traffic jams and accidents, there are three lights in the traffic signal, having different message for the drivers. Red light asks the driver to stay at the intersection. Green light gives the driver free license to drive through the intersection. Yellow light alerts the driver to wait. If the next light is red, or get ready to go, if the green light is next. In this video, we will see how an automatic traffic lights controller is made using triple five timer IC and CD4017 decade counter IC. These are the components which are needed in this project. Triple five timer IC, eight pin IC base, CD4017 decade counter IC, 16 pin IC base, five, one kilo ohm resistors, 50 kilo ohm, variable resistor, 100 microfarad, electrolytic capacitor, 2 red LED, 1 green LED, 1 yellow LED, 9 volt battery, PP3 battery connector, on off, rocker switch, 1 zero PCB, 4 screw with nuts, and 4 plastic spacers. Before making the project, we will understand its circuit diagram. This is a 9 volt battery, to power up the circuit. This is an on-off switch, which is used to start or stop the project. This is a power supply indication LED. This is a current limiting resistor, to protect the LED, from high current and voltage. Triple 5 is a timer IC. It can work in three different modes, monostable, astable, and bistable mode. In this project, we are using it in astable mode. So at the output of triple 5 timer IC, we will get continuous high and low pulses. This is CD4017, decade counter IC. This IC has 16 pins. It has 10 output pins, 1 clock pin, supply, ground, and reset pin. CLK, or clock pin, is connected with the output pin of triple 5 timer IC. Yellow LED, is connected at pin number 2. Red LED, is connected at pin number 3 and green LED is connected, at pin number 4 of CD4017 IC. Initially, CD4017 IC, will give a high output, at its pin number 3, and a low output at pin number 2 and 4. So red LED will turn on, and green and yellow LED will turn off. When first pulse from triple 5 IC arrives, then IC gives a high output, at pin number 2, and a low output at pin number 3 and 4, so yellow LED will turn on, and green and red LED will turn off. When second pulse from triple 5 IC arrives, then IC gives a high output, at pin number 4, and low output, at pin number 2 and 3, so green LED will turn on, and yellow and red LED will turn off. When third pulse from triple 5 IC arrives, then IC gives a high output at pin number 7. Pin number 7 is connected with the reset pin of IC. Reset pulse will reset the IC, and IC will start giving output, from pin number 3. Same process will go on, for the infinite time, and red, green, and yellow LEDs, will keep blinking, one by one. The timing of output pulses, can be adjusted, by adjusting this variable resistor. These components will be used, to make the circuit. First of all, we will make a PCB base, and for that, we will take a zero PCB, and make a hole at each of its corner. Now, we will insert a 1 inch screw, inside the hole. Now we will take a plastic spacer, and then we will use a nut to lock the spacer. Now our PCB base is ready. To switch on or off our project we will use an on off switch. We need to make a big hole to fit this switch on the PCB. Use a permanent marker, to make the outline on the PCB. Use the tweezer, to make the hole in the PCB. Use the cutter, 
to cut the plastic. Now insert the switch inside the hole. Now we will solder the 1 kilo ohm current limiting resistor. This resistor will protect the LED from high voltage and current. Now we will solder the power indication LED on the PCB. Now we will solder the 8 pin IC base. Now we will solder the 16 pin IC base on the PCB. Now we will solder red, yellow and green LEDs on the PCB. Use 1 kilo ohm current limiting resistor with each of the LED. Now connect pin number 16 with positive power supply. Now connect pin number 8 of IC base for CD4017 with the ground power supply. Now we will solder the variable resistor. It has 3 pins. We will use the middle pin and any one of the two side pins. Now we will solder the 1 kilo ohm resistor. Short pin number 6 of IC base with pin number 2. Now we will solder the 100 microfarad capacitor. Now connect pin number 1 of IC base with the ground terminal. Connect pin number 8 of IC with 5 volt supply. Short pin number 8 of IC base with pin number 4. Now connect pin number 15 of CD4017 with pin number 7. Now connect pin number 14 of CD4017 with pin number 3 of triple 5 timer IC. Now connect pin number 3 with a 1 kilo ohm resistor which is connected with a red LED. Now connect pin number 2 with a 1 kilo ohm resistor which is connected with a yellow LED. Now connect pin number 4 with a 1 kilo ohm resistor which is connected with a green LED. Now we will solder the PP3 battery connector. Connect the red wire with the positive terminal and black wire with the negative terminal in the circuit. Now plug the IC on the IC base. Now give the power supply to the circuit and check its functioning.
Our circuit is working perfectly. I hope you enjoyed the video and learned something from it. For any help or to clear your doubts regarding your project, you can contact us on our student care number 7007957715. To buy the items used in this project, you can visit our website www.eraltech.com. You can give us the orders on WhatsApp also. Thank you so much.